Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about July 9th, League of Legends DFS slate. Um, it's a five game loaded slate today. Um, uh, just a little recap from this morning, July 8th uh, slate, I believe. Yeah, um, we did really well. At least I did really well, uh, just based on the analysis that I went over. Um, I think I, yeah, I did have a takedown in the $44 GPP. Um, I, I only had three lineups um, uh, and, you know, one of them did really well, had a takedown uh, with OMG and JDG stack with Shanji and Kanavi, uh, Shanji and top, top stacks here and then jungle with Kanavi and I had to pay down to t at T1 in the team slot. Um, this was my cash lineup um, in the second lineup here. You see um, just the double ups basically um, where I stack OMG and JDG. Um, so yeah, it was overall a very good slate. I hope you guys made good money as well. Um, this was truly based on what I went over in the video. So hopefully we repeat the same performance. Um, so yeah, let's dive in. LPL and I have a surprise announcement at the end of the at the end of the video um, for those of you who were interested in uh, maybe my uh, predictions and you know prize picks uh, bets like prop bets for each of the players. I know a lot of you guys have inquired about that, so I have a surprise announcement at the end of the at the end of the video. All right, so DFS starters here, um, LPL. It's a three game. In China, um, anyone's legend versus Ultra Prime. Um, it, they, they're all very close games today in China. Anyone's legend and Ultra Prime are close. BLG versus Weibo Gaming is close, although Weibo Gaming is probably the biggest favorite on the Chinese games. Um, and then top esports versus RNG. One thing I would like to note on the starters uh, is that. Anyone's Legend, Ultra Prime, that game should be the same, same starters. But in the BLG and Weibo Gaming game, um, BLG is starting a new jungler from the Academy. Uh, his name is Khan or Can, C-A-N. Um, he is from their Academy affiliate, uh, minor league affiliate equivalent. Um, and then Fofo back in the um, mid lane over Icon. I did want to check out on this video to see how, what kind of tendencies Khan likes to play for BLG in the jungle. So let's look at that. So, you know, sometimes I look at these, if there are new players that are coming up to play in the, you know, professional scene um, to see if they like to play any you know, like carry champions, cause you know, like Kanavi this morning, you know, he likes to do that and gets a lot of racks up a lot of kills. So here in the LDL, which is equivalent to the minor league of the LPL, um, looks like he played against a lot of the minor league teams, obviously here in the summer, he started as Wukong. Graves, okay, Kha'Zix, Lee Sin. Yeah, I mean, these are some carry champions that can get a lot of kills. He's now playing like Sejuani. Yeah, he's played a lot of Viego as well. Um, and Lee Sin, those are, I guess, his go-to um, picks going up against Viego. Okay, one, one, and 11. That's good. And they've won, looks like they've won every single one of those games. So... Maybe it's going to be an upgrade over Weiwei. I don't know, but um, but I'll dive into that here a little further after I look at finish looking at all of these. 13 kills here uh, uh, as Graves against Viego. Wow, that's really good. That's very impressive. 308. So it looks like he likes to give up a lot of kills uh, to his laners, his teammates, but looks like he is capable of racking up kills so yeah and they've won every single one i mean i, I do want to check out how well he's done in terms of um in the ldl like how blg's stats line up so let's look at that real quick ldl summer in the jungle blg is up here wow 
So, yeah, I mean, I do think he has had a very good split so far in the LDL. Um, that's, that's the reason why he's coming up to play, you know, in the big boy league. Um, so I do think he will do well. Um, I do think he'll do well. Um, but it's going to be a tough matchup against Weibo Gaming. Um, SOFM doesn't scare me that much. I know he had a horrible, horrible game, which we predicted on our video, um, and they lost. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely think Khan can do this <laughs> um, for BLG. And Fofo, I mean, I like Fofo much better than Icon. I know Fofo was, you know, going through a slump early in the split, and they had to replace him with Icon, who is – more of a veteran, you know, um, kind of holding down the fort-ish. Um, but he is not as skilled as Fofo, and I'm glad that Fofo is back in here. So BLG is trying some things new to kind of spice up or just to get back to their usual level of um, competition, which Dalko and Crisp has, have been bad as well. Um, I do think BLG has been bad at, but not as bad as, as some teams, um, like Team WE or, you know, something like that under talk. I think they are a little bit above that tier, although the, um, the records may not indicate that. Let's see, BLG, 2-5, and five, and they lost one of seven games already. Yeah, I mean, I, I do think BLG can pull it off. Um, Will I go that prediction? I don't know. So let's go over all the starters first before I get into the match predictions. And top esports is against RNG as the marquee matchup in the LPL. Um, top esports has been playing really well, and RNG has been regaining their form uh, from the spring split and the Worlds uh, last year when they won the championship. Um, so um, and they are kind of you know just meshing and breathe their new uh, top laner for the summer split. Um, so I do think as the time goes in the split, RNG is going to pick up a lot of wins. Um, I think they are playing well, better, rather. Gala and Ming have been so solid. And, and I know Xiao, whose form was not that great early in the split, but he's regaining that form here um, in the split after several weeks in now. Um, but then top esports has also been playing really lights out. I mean, Tian has been a little bit of a question mark, but Knight and uh, Knight's form has been coming back up and Jackie Love has been playing really well. So, yeah, so let's kind of come up with my predictions. Um, I do want to see maybe some uh, opponent history, match history for these teams real quick because we have some close matchups. Um, so, yeah, let's dive into that real quick. So the first matchup is AL versus UP. Like I said, it's a toss up game coin flip game, at least from the odd standpoint, um, AL and UP. So AL is in the seventh place and then Ultra Prime is in the 11th place. Ultra Prime has lost three game, three series in a row, um, but let's look at ALs first. Um, All right, let's see. So AL has been playing decent. Their ceiling has been pretty high. Um, they've lost to Rare Adam, or they beat Rare Adam, lost to LNG, beat VLG, and lost to LGD. That's only one, two, three, four, four. I cannot be right. Why do they not have all the games? That's annoying. Okay. That's so annoying. Sorry, guys. They don't they don't have all the matches. Oh, that's annoying. Come on. Let's go. LPL. Anyone's legend. And Ultra Prime. Okay, anyone's legend has played. They beat RA. I do want to put this out there. AL has one. Oh, no, Adam. One, two, zero. 
LNG oh and two they lost BLG they won two to zero LGD they lost O to two which was surprising to me and then IG they won two to one and then victory five they got one game off of them but they lost ultimately one to two and then they beat Weibo Gaming like I said SFFM played like shit in that game um and a AL anyone's legend beat them in the last two games in the series so yeah I mean like I said I mean they're up and down up and down they've won they beat some good teams I mean I think they beat they're them beating BLG them beating IG and the Weibo Gaming yeah I mean those are good wins um I do want to see Ultra Primes match history as well. Um, Ultra Prime has beat OMG two to zero. BLG lost one to two. Rare Adam they won two to one. JDG they lost one to two. And then Weibo Gaming they're in a slump, man. Lost 0 to 2, and then RNG lost 0 to 2. They've, like I said, they've lost three series in a row. Um, they had beaten Rare Adam in the last, in their latest win, which is not, that's not say much to me because Rare Adam has been a really bad team this split so far. But then these are tough three teams, like three tough teams JDG, Weibo Gaming, and RNG. Yeah, I mean, those are tough, tough matchups. They're not as good as anyone's legend. I mean, they are much better than anyone's legend, um, who they're going up against um, here today for Ultra Prime. They won against Rare Adam, but that's about it, other than the first matchup against OMG. So I think their form has kind of gone down a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go to see any metrics if I see anything. Um, AL plus 3.1%. Gold spell, gold spend percentage difference. Anyone's legend is up in that regard. And then lane and jungle, lane about the same, but anyone's legend 0.3%. And jungle control percentage, uh, ultra prime plus 0.2%. So, yeah, I mean, they are all very minimal differences, I think. I do want to see the individual matchups here today. Let's look at. ZDZ versus Zoom. Um, I think ZDG, I think that's just a wash. Xiao Hao and Hacker. I have to go with Xiao Hao in my opinion. And then Forge versus Crying. Probably Crying there. Um, Betty versus Chocho or against Elk and Shoutzi. I like Betty and Chocho a little bit better. Um, I'm probably going to have to go with anyone's legend. AL wins probably two to one here today. And the kill upside is great. Um, the combined kills per minute uh, for this matchup is at 0.87. So 0.87 kills per minute. Um, Ultra Prime likes to play really fast. So that increases the kill upside for anyone's legend and vice versa. If you think Ultra Prime can pull this off and they are a live dog, Ultra Prime. So I think Ultra Prime makes a very good GPP play and same for anyone's legend. I mean, just odds wise, I think the ownership will be spread out. Um, but I am predict predicting anyone's legend to win. But really, this is a coin flip game, I think. All right, second matchup. I'll speed up a little bit here today. Um, I know it's a five-game slate, um, but yeah, next game is B 
BLG versus Weibo Gaming. Like I said, BLG is starting the, the new jungler, Khan and Fofo. I do think um, Khan and Fofo will play pretty well. Um, I do think that makes them a very live underdog um, because I don't think Weibo Gaming knows much about um, Khan that very much. I think that's going to be the last preparation that they'll have to make. Um, and Weibo Gaming is a favorite because BLG has not been a good team, and that's why they're making these changes here in the jungle and in the mid laner, mid laning position. Um, so let's look at some of the matches. I'll, I'll just predict. I mean, I, I do. I'm going to look at the data probably here in a little bit, but um, for the sake of the duration of the video, I think I'm just gonna um, look at the rosters and look at the match history a little bit. And then just based on my eye test and factoring all those in, um, I will make a prediction. So let's look at that real quick. BLG, Weibo Gaming, I'll speed it up, like I said. LG lost one to two. Ultra Prime one two to one. Anyone's legend lost O to two. TES lost O to two, which I understand. And EDG, they actually got a game off of them. Lost one to two. And IG, one, two to one. And Thunder Talk, they actually lost. Wow. Hmm. They've been so up and down. Yes, they lost. All right, let's look at um, Repo Gamings. Weibo Gaming has beat IG one, two to one. EDG lost O to two. Team WE one. Two to one, RNG, they lost one to two. Rare Adam, they won two to one. Ultra Prime, they won two to zero. TS, they probably lost one to two, right? Yep. And they lost to AL one to two, which I get it. Anyone's legend is pretty good. And S of FM played really bad. I do think he may bounce back here today. Um, let's look at. Weibo Gaming has had trouble against good bottom laners, bottom duo. I'll go in crisp. This is a tough one, I think, to call. I do think these should be even odds. Maybe not, because BLG has been playing pretty bad. They lost to Thunder Talk, and they lost to... 
that's probably one bad loss. And then that's the only bad loss, I think. ADG, TS, AL, LNG. They beat the other mediocre teams. And Weibo Gaming has, has lost last two good teams. They beat Ultra Prime. They beat Rare Adam, of course. Um, RNG, they lost. DLG going up against mediocre teams like IG. Anyone's legend. Ultra Prime. I'm, I think this is a toss up. Um, just looking at everything um, in my eye test, SOFM has struggled. Um, I think Khan can do this, pull this off, and go at least even with SO, against F SOFM. I'm gonna. I'm willing to say BLG can win this. Um, I think Ben will do okay neutralizing the shy. This is gonna come down to the jungle, obviously, with the new jungler but also in the bottom lane. I think as long as Doggo and Crisp gain some advantage over Huan Feng and On, I think BLG definitely has a good shot. So I do think, and I think they will. Huan Feng and On have not been impressive to me. And S of FM has struggled in the last series. I don't know if it will recover that from that completely. So I'm going to say BLG upsets Weibo Gaming probably two to one. Yeah. All right, let's speed up the RNG TES analysis. I've, I've watched these teams on the match history, so I don't really need to go into the match history. I'm going to just go look at some stats. Let's look at BLG Weibo Gaming last uh, here before I move on to that matchup, actually. GSPD. Weibo Gaming has been up 4.5. Lane control percentage, Weibo Gaming plus 0.4%. Jungle control, Weibo Gaming plus 1.6%. So not very much. Um, I am, yeah, I am willing to say that BLG can upset this. Um, I just feel like Dalko and I just have a feeling, and I've and based on my eye test, it's not. It really hasn't been their fault that they lost. Um, a lot of a lot of they have lost a lot of games this split. Um, I do think having a new jungler who looks really good in the LDL, maybe he'll struggle. But I am willing to take a chance and say BLG can upset because BLG just looking at the match history compared to Wavel Gaming and the way that they played in the last series. I do think BLG can upset this team. I know people will be scared to play BLG because of the new jungler and the, I guess, the returning mid laner um, and the synergy issues. Yeah, I mean, there could be synergy issues, um, but they all speak Chinese. I mean, they're all Chinese people, uh, players rather, um, that shouldn't have any communication issues uh, here today. And they must have seen a lot of the integrations with Khan and scrim scrims probably against other teams. Um, so I, I do like BLG. I think this is their, his chance to shine and I think he can do it. And he has a pretty good matchup against S, S of FM and Weibo Gaming who has struggled a lot against teams with a good bottom duo carry. So, so I think I'm gonna go BLG upsets Weibo Gaming. All right, and then TES RNG. Um, let's look at TES RNG. I will go through the match history later. Let's look at RNG plus 2.6 percent. Wayne about even. Jungle control percentage is top. Esports is actually up. 
1.8%. So that's, Tian has been playing well, I guess. So uh, compared to way for RNG. So given that, let's look at who I think will win. All right, Breathe versus Way. I mean, these are all really good team uh, players. Um, I know Xiaohu, Knight, Jackie Love, Gala. I mean, those carries matchup will be interesting, I think. Um, all right, RNG, maybe they're gaining, regaining their form, like I said. Um, but I need to first see... FPX one to the one, Weibo Gaming one to the one. So they've won a lot of games actually. And Victor Five, the best team in the LPL, they lost one to two, so not a bad loss there. And then OMG one to the one. And Ultra Prime one two to zero, yeah. I mean, like I said, their form is coming back. They beat FPX Weibo Gaming, lost Victory Five, but then they bounced back against OMG and UP. Um, yeah, I mean, like it's, I think it's gonna be hard to pick a, against RNG today, unless Top Esports shows me otherwise in the match history here. Let's see. JDG, they lost one to two. Team W, one two to zero. IG, one two to zero. I mean, those are some bad teams. I mean, IG is okay, but Team W is really bad. BLG, they won two to zero. Okay, that's impressive. FPX, they won two to one. And LNG, they won two to zero. Yeah, and then Weibo Gaming. One, two to one. Yeah, both teams have been really lights out. Um, really good. Um, team Top Esports beat Weibo Gaming, LNG, and FPX, um, and BLG. And then, whereas RNG has beat Ultra Prime, OMG, lost to Victory Five. I, I think it all comes down to the matchup individual matchup here um i don't think knight has been playing as well as xiaohu's last couple series in my opinion um and i know tian has struggled a lot um against good teams like this so as long as wade pulls his weight um and breathe does okay um, I'm going to have to go with RNG, guys. Um, RNG wins 2-0, to zero, I think. Yeah, I think this is the spot where Top Esports learns a lesson and kind of faces the tough, tough competition in RNG. Um, I like Xiaohu's form recently better than Knight's form, and I like Gala's form against Jackie Love. Um, Gala has been lights out, in my opinion, probably has been the most consistent AD carry uh, in the LPL, other than maybe Votic, I think a Viper actually for EDG has not been playing well. So I'm going to go with Gala as that position, um, that accomplishment. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go with RNG. I mean, it looks like I'm picking a lot of the ups, uh, underdogs here today. But like I said, the odds are close. So I'm going to just stick with that. Um, and the LCK, the DK, Damon Kia versus HLE is pretty simple, I think. Damon Kia should win. Um, and uh, But the combined kills per minute, the kill upside is not that great. So there's a good chance that Damon Kia does not score well, uh, the players at least. So Damon Kia is available for, uh, you know, the team slot, I think. It's a good, maybe, uh, you know... Um, play to make and building a roster for DFS purposes and be a, be different um, than just regular two team stacks 
but and then in the Nongshim versus uh, Live Sandbox, um, I actually took a long look at this matchup. Um, and Sandbox has been playing like a mid, uh, upper tier, mid tier team in the LCK so far, and I think they're just gonna keep going until Nongshim figures out their bottom lane situation with Ghost and Effort. Um, they've been playing pretty poorly. Um, Kana has been kind of carrying that team and Dread, um, but BDD, Ghost, and Effort, the bottom half of that team has been playing pretty bad, poorly. Um, so I'm just going to have to go with Sandbox here today. And I do think Sandbox will score pretty decently. Um, this matchup, this Korean matchup, is uh, has a higher combined kills per minute compared to the Dawan Kia game that I just mentioned. So um, I think Liv Sandbox is definitely in play. Uh, for GPP if you are playing any of the big you know Chinese favorites but the odds are so close for the Chinese teams it may be a good idea just to focus on the Chinese teams you know just kind of sticking to your you know predictions and who you think will score well today um, so I'm gonna say I love sandbox wins two to one so yeah anyway that's all I got for you guys today um, I do have a surprise announcement like I said I know this video has been a little longer than usual um, but um, I just want to point out that for those of you, since uh, I've gotten a, lot, gotten a lot of requests on um, uh, what do you call it? Patreon, Patreon, Patreon uh, webpage for um, prize picks and prop bets and match predictions exactly how they're how they're gonna pan out um, for those of you who are you know straight up betters on Bovada or some other sports books but also on prize picks so for those of you who like to bet over and under kills or assists or the, whatever the you know the thresholds are for these uh, League of Legends matches overnight um or during the day depending on which regions that are they are um i am launching a patreon website and i will post it on twitter um under my handle at dfs chan on twitter so if you uh want to come check it out it's gonna be um www.patreon.com at dfs underscore chan um so come check it out i'll have a post for tonight as well um, if you are interested in prize picks, it's going to be um, $30 a month. So basically $1 a day. Um, so I think it's a great deal. Um, I'm going to have picks every day. Um, obviously, I play DFS every day, but I also play here and there on prize picks as well as Bovada on, you know, straight up bets um, for match predictions. And I have done really well. Um, I have been a very profitable uh, better out there on sports books. Um, so if you guys have um, any other requests on any other bets that you would like to see uh, for me to make, um, I'm happy to help. Um, but for now, I'm starting out and launching this Patreon um, uh, based on those requests. Um, so come check it out. Um, if you are interested, let me know if you have any issues um, signing up as an active Patreon patron, um, let, me, let me know. Um, I'm happy to, uh, yeah help you make money in any way possible uh, that you would like to. So let me know. And otherwise, if you like this video, hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I'll see you out there on the, you know, at the top of the contests. See you later. Have a good one. Have a good weekend. Bye.